Still remember the shocking scenes of the SpaceX Starship firing, soaring, and exploding about 20 days ago? Well, next time, the success rate will definitely be greater. But will it? And when? Elon Musk just revealed SpaceX is about to launch a new Starship Super Heavy in just weeks from now. Let's compare that with the history of Starship to understand the latest Musk timeline in today's episode of Alpha Tech. The carrier of Musk Mars immigration dream Starship, SpaceX's devoted development of the next generation of reusable spacecraft and super heavy rockets, has undergone a series of exciting high altitude flight tests from 2020 to 2021. At the end of 2020, Starship started a series of high altitude flight tests, which mostly ended up in explosions. The first high altitude test flight, Starship serial number 8, SN8, lifted off December 9, 2020, from SpaceX's Starbase in Texas. It reached a height of around 12 kilometers before it performed a landing flip maneuver. And according to SpaceX, it had a hard landing due to low pressure in the fuel header tank during the landing burn LED to a high touchdown velocity. On February 2, 2021, SN9 also successfully launched and reached a height of around 10 kilometers before it started falling like a comet to the ground. This time it was caused by one of the Raptor engines being unable to relight, so SN9 landed at high speed and experienced a rapid unscheduled disassembly, or RUD. A month later, March 3, 2021, SN10's Raptor engines reignited and performed the landing flip maneuver. For the first time, Starship successfully landed on the landing pad, but a few minutes later, as if the flight test was not exciting enough, SN10 exploded again. March 30, 2021, shortly after the landing burn started, SN11 exploded in the fog without a trace, and a week later, Musk tweeted about the reason, a fuel leak. The SN15 launched May 5, 2021, and it was the final success. It reached approximately 10 kilometers altitude before elegantly landing on the ground. Although there was a small fire on the spacecraft, it was swiftly put out. Just as the public cheered about the successful test flight and anticipated that Starship would go to Earth orbit soon, Starship went quiet, and there weren't even any high-altitude test flights. There are some reasons that made Starship delay its first orbital test flight. First of all, SpaceX Starship's design had gone through frequent iterations that were quickly altered so that prototypes like SN12, 13, 14, and 16 were dismantled or destroyed before they even made it to the launch pad. Secondly, the Raptor engine, a reusable methane oxygen stage combustion engine, was not as fierce or reliable as the name suggested, and the explosions of SN8 through 11 were all associated with a failed Raptor engine. Last but not least, environmentalists had previously clashed with SpaceX over the activities at Starbase in Texas, which is very near wildlife refuges and a state park with a fragile ecosystem. Well, finally, Sunday, April 16, 2023, Starship had approval from the FAA and was scheduled to launch the next day. However, the launch was called off last minute due to technical issues. Musk then tweeted, a pressurant valve appears to be frozen, so unless it starts operating soon, no launch today. The delay didn't last very long. SpaceX officially launched a fully integrated Starship launch vehicle for the first time on the morning of April 20th, a long-awaited, highly anticipated milestone in the vehicle development program. The orbital test flight surpassed many expectations. The vehicle cleared Max-Q, the point at which most aerodynamic pressure is exerted on the vehicle, and flew for nearly three minutes despite eight of its 33 rocket engines failing. The rocket reached an altitude of about 40 kilometers, the point of stage separation, at which time the upper stage failed to separate from the booster, leading to uncontrolled tumbling and a spectacular mid-air explosion. Despite its fiery fate, the test was a success. SpaceX got tons of valuable data that will inform future Starship and Super Heavy prototypes. And even when the heat of the explosion hasn't subsided in the audience's mind, CEO Elon Musk is announcing SpaceX's giant Starship vehicle could even be ready for its second-ever liftoff in just a few short months. SpaceX team has done excellent work. We've made lots of progress, and I think from a technique, from a broadcast standpoint, and from a pad standpoint, we're probably ready to launch in six to eight weeks. 
He's cautiously optimistic about the next launch attempt, which would repeat the same mission profile. Super Heavy launches and lands in the Gulf of Mexico. Starship separates, nearly reaches orbital velocity, then returns into the Pacific Ocean north of Hawaii. Our goal for the next flight is to make it to staging and hopefully succeed in staging and get to orbit, he said. I think we got a decent shot of getting to orbit on the next flight. I think this time we've got better than a 50% chance of reaching orbit. I'm hopeful we can get four flights out this year, or maybe five. I would be surprised if we exit this year without getting to orbit, he said, giving the company an 80% plus probability of doing so, increasing to nearly 100% within 12 months. The goal of these initial flights is to continue to gather information about the performance of Super Heavy and Starship. After the launch system can reliably reach orbit, the next phase of the program will involve demonstrating in-space fuel transfer and beginning to land and reuse both the booster and upper stages. It'll probably take us a few more years to achieve reusability on a regular basis, where we bring the booster back and bring the ship back, he said. It'll take a few years to get where Falcon 9 is today, where it's quite normal for the rocket to land. We're all familiar with Musk's timelines, but let's consider it. Compared to the results for the Starship delay after SN15 landed, as we analyzed before, everything at the moment is much more promising. For the biggest problem, launch pad. SpaceX is rapidly changing the pad, including placing a water-jacketed steel sandwich below the launch mount. You have what's basically a massive, super-strong steel showerhead pointing up, he said, with that water deluge system mitigating dust and debris. Importantly, SpaceX has now simultaneously spun up production lines of Starship rockets. This enables rapid iteration, frequent tests, and most importantly allows for failure early on, and we can see them improve with each attempt. It's apparent that the company has as many as 10 further Starship prototypes in various stages of assembly, as well as up to seven more Super Heavy boosters. The next launch would use a Super Heavy booster called Booster 9. The engines on Booster 9, which is next, are much newer and more consistent and with significant reliability improvement, Musk said. Along with improved shielding, I think we'll see a much more robust engine situation with Booster 9. Booster 9 is a lot easier because we use electric motors to steer the engines as opposed to hydraulic actuators, where you've got a common manifold between the hydraulic actuators, Musk said. The electric actuated engines will be much more isolated. It will be key to ensure that any single engine failures are isolated and the company's made the rocket more robust for that purpose. Even Bill Nelson touted as much before members of Congress, explaining how the company approaches rocket development differently than the space agency. Now, understand that the explosion, that's not a big downer in the way SpaceX does things. They are hardware rich, meaning they've got a lot of those rockets ready to go, and that's their modus operandi. They launch, if something goes wrong, they figure out what it is, they go back, they launch it again, Nelson said. As with any rocket development program, and especially the largest ever assembled, SpaceX's timeline for the next Starship flight is likely to evolve and change. We'll wait and see. That just about wraps it up for today's episode. Don't forget, share your ideas in the comments section below. Everyone's support motivates us to create more quality videos. And for that, we thank you so much and hope to see you next time.